everybody, this is Dark Comet. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome back to Little Nightmares DLC, The Residence. Um, this is going to be part two uh, of the residence here because we had to break it apart um, just because of timing of trying to get it all in one video here. So uh, we did end up uh, going through the lady's residence. We took the elevator up. We fell down into her book room. We solved a bunch of cool puzzles. This is the best puzzle so far in the game, I think. The sundial, twisting it and turning it and pushing different buttons, getting the lights onto the eye. We did the picture room, where we tried to figure out which pictures were in one room versus another. We also did the falling uh, ceiling trick, where you had to replace a wooden statue with a real statue. Um, just be just like the old Indiana Jones type of movies and things like that. So they had some really cool puzzles in this in that area um, We did encounters a lot of creepiness. We saw the lady looking at dolls um, And things like that um, as she was longingly looking there um, We did encounter her through the rest of the part one there I'm sure she'll be seen in part two here coming up. So let's go ahead and see where the runaway boy and his adventures take us, and let's get busy, guys. Okay, we're going to go in here very cautiously. Obviously, darkness is very strong here. Oh, here's another bottle, guys. That should be bottle number three for us. Two other bottles somewhere. Got my little message. Don't know what it's for. But, there we go. Mysteries of the game that are never explained. Um, okay, another dark room with very ominous music now. Um, oh my gosh. We can try running, I guess. Oh my gosh, okay. I got caught on some kind of stool or something. Where do those little kids go? Oh my gosh, guys. There's one down. <laughs> There's the second one. I don't know if we got him or not. Man, it takes a lot of light to kill one of those things. Um, there was more... Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna sit here in the light here and just keep pointing my things at people until they keep coming here. I hear more of them. Oh my gosh, there's so many. So many. Are they still here? Yes, there's more. Oh my gosh. Do they ever stop? There's a lever up here, guys. Um, are there still more coming? Holy cow, guys. Those demon spawn children are... Whew! They're tough to kill. I'm assuming we have to jump up here and grab this here. This little uh, latch here. Okay, we got through into this part here. Oh my goodness. 
Okay. Got a holes in the floor here. Gotta watch out for that. Oh boy. Okay. More of these children. Oh, my light goes up. Oh my gosh. Alright, this turning of the lights off randomly is just a pain in the you know what, guys. I mean, why would the flashlight just turn off on its own? Like they have some kind of power to turn off your light? Alright. Gotta keep on this one here. That one's down. Oh, there's so many of them. So hard to control, guys. I mean, extremely hard to control. And the light didn't turn off on that one. Don't know why. What's the difference? Oh, good. Oh, look at them all. They're, hanging, they're hiding behind the bookcases over there, guys. Look at them. Look at them over there. Okay, there's a hole in the floor. You gotta watch out for that. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, guys. My flashlight just keeps turning off randomly. I know they did that on purpose, but my goodness, people. Is that the final one? Oh. There's a ladder here. Go up right now. Right now. Okay. Okay. Alright, here. Climb up on the shelf, I guess. Let's see where this goes. Jump over here, I guess. Okay, go across the beam here. Man, this level's hard, guys. Really hard. Last one was a piece of cake. Died once. Once total. Oh, heard creaking. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Jump across on this ladder here, I guess. Okay, okay, we got onto it. That's good. Be very careful there, guys, when you're jumping across that. I think I died like five or six times trying to figure out how to jump onto that ladder. It wouldn't grab on. Uh, we've got a very dark room ahead of us again. Not good. Um, some kind of cage. Looks, I don't know if that's a doll or a kid or something in there. Oh my goodness, not these guys again. I saw, thought I saw someone from behind us here. Can't really see them from back there, that'd be gotta be careful. Um. Got a picture here with a hallway up here. Just a picture though. Oh my, the music is just crazy, guys. More of them? Can't flashlight, turn off! Goodness gracious, man. Flashlights turn off. Obviously, we have to turn this thing while we're being attacked. That is not fair. There it goes down. Oh my goodness, guys. That is not fair. Not fair at all.
we made it guys we made it we made it i don't know if they can come through or not don't know if they're in here or not that is like another death trap room there guys that is crazy um some kind of weird contraption looks like it's like oh it's the maw it's the maw basically a little stack on top there interesting okay you can grab onto the ledge you can't do anything all right oh okay um another piano here can we grab this here okay we can do that can we play a song a song is that the secret hide hidden thing there uh play another song a song for the runaway kid um, i heard a click I guess no hidden trophy on that one, but there is a bottle right here. This would be bottle number four, I believe, guys. Okay. Another. Oh, looks like we're part of the picture. That's kind of cool. That perspective there. Um, We did get another statue here, which might be the final statue. I uh, hope we don't get attacked by the kids as we're running out of here. Which way do we go? Um, okay, that's lighting up here. Oh, sweet. Okay. So they gave us a little hint there by having a little short in the light. There's the wooden statue. You can see a little bit better now. Hopefully there's no kids in the hallways attacking me, especially when I can't see going down this hallway. Um, very, very dark, guys. I apologize. Can't do anything about it. That's the way the game's designed. To be like extreme darkness here. Um, put this one on the final pedestal, guys. See what happens. Maybe our hidden trophy and stuff is in the next room. Okay guys, so I'm going to look up the hidden trophy here to make sure I don't lose it for the stream. Um, hope you don't mind that I at least do on that part there. I've done everything else on my own. Um, it looks like it's behind us now. So this one's called Ashes to Ashes. It takes a little bit of time, um, which I probably never would have figured out in the history of mankind. <laughs> um, there is a book in here somewhere. I don't know exactly which one, but we'll just grab one here. You gotta take a... What's going on here? Why can't my character move? Okay, there it goes. That was really weird. Okay, so there's a book in here. Don't know which one. Um, I'm gonna be assuming it's this half face one here. And you got to run it all the way across to the very beginning of the game. Now, how would have I ever figured that out? How anybody figured it out, period, is a mystery. Um, look at that. It's like a glitch there in that part of the hallway. I haven't had any any glitches in this game, really, except for some really minor, minor ones here. Um, again, running in the darkness. Sorry, guys. Um, the doorway's over here somewhere. Just keep running with it, they say. Run for about 30, 40 seconds here. In the darkness. Can't see a thing. There it is. Okay. Man, why'd they make this game so dark? I have no idea. Um... I mean, darkness is fine, but you have to be able to see your character. It's crazy. Okay. She's not in this room anymore. So somewhere over here, there's a uh, bookcase you have to put this in. There's the other half of the face. Okay, there is your hidden trophy, guys. Um, ashes to ashes. It's going to open up a door here. I've had to look up uh, two of these hidden trophies here. I got one by accident. And look at this very ominous, ghastly, ghostly room here, guys. You got burnt out children. Look at that. 
All these burnt out kids are ashes here. That is just disturbing. And I guess you push this thing off here. Oh. Okay, there is your hidden trophy. Ashes to ashes, guys. I'm um, sorry I had to look that one up, but I don't think I would have ever figured that one, that one out if I didn't look it up. So you have all these children that are turned to ash in this room. Their ashes are just piled up in here. You have ghostly, uh, very haunted figures of kids there. Um, and it's by finding that one face uh, book there and putting it together and then opening the secret door. So there you go, guys. Now we'll go look for that final thought sum. I did not look that one up, so we have four or five so far. And we have the statue room that's just opened, so let's go ahead and go back to that. I'll edit out the running part there, and we'll start off at the um, statue room. Okay, well guys, we're back at the statue room. We just had gotten the hidden trophy, Ashes to Ashes. Um, I edited out my part running back there, because that takes about a minute or so, and I know I'm going to be running up against time here. So let's go ahead and start exploring from this point forward. All the one, two, three, four, five statues are, are all up here. Um, well, I guess there's six in this room, aren't there? Six statues are up. But we didn't have to find them all. Okay, we got broken mirrors in this room here, guys. We know that six takes care of the lady, so don't know what we got to do. Maybe just avoid her and get out of the... Ma, I hear something. Got it. Oh, ha <laughs> ha! That freaked me out. Look at that. Another statue of the geisha that makes it look like her. Oh my goodness, guys. There she is. She's looking in a mirror. I thought she couldn't look in mirrors, guys. Oh, her face looks a little different there. Does she have her mask off? Oh, guys. Okay. So in the picture, she was a young Asian geisha looking lady. Um, okay. And then when she was looking there, obviously she's an older lady now. But her face was old and she was definitely scared of her reflection. But she was looking in that mirror. Um, which then she, Oh my goodness. Look at all. Oh, back in the... Uh, are we in the... A similar oh what's that oh my gosh guys what's going on here oh there's shadow oh she's like following us on the on the peripheral there guys oh my goodness guys she just keeps coming around like uh, some kind of ghostly figure there Don't know where to go here. There's a room to the right. Can't quite jump up to that. Maybe there's something back here. <laughs> I hear creaking. I hear creaking. Okay. What was the creaking sound? Oh, goodness gracious, guys. What the heck is that? Oh, hey! Hey, hey! Look! Look what I found, guys! The last Flotsam Eye Bottle 5 of 5. Um, thought that statue falling on me was a lady. Oh, goodness. I don't know where she went. She was right on her heels at every step of the way. I don't know if she's hurting us somewhere or if, uh, what's supposed to happen? Where was that closed door we couldn't reach? Um, let's see if we can find that again. Okay. Very confusing. Throw all these here. Maybe it's down this hallway here.
Oh, the door is open now, guys. Oh, we did hear a clicking earlier. Maybe I didn't notice when I ran by it the other direction. Um. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, goodness. What happened? My person... Oh, what the... Okay, maybe I can't get away from her a different way. She's sucking our soul out, guys. Um, black screen. Is that how our little... What the... That's the, how our person ends there. There's our clothes on the ground. Um... Interesting. I'm a gnome. The lady turned me into a gnome. She didn't kill me. What is all this stuff on the ground here? I guess we run to the light here. Um, okay, do we play the rest of the game as a gnome? Um, can we jump that? Uh, nope, we ended up down here. Alright, this is interesting, guys. We are a gnome. Alright, well, could be worse, I guess. Uh oh. Oh, we are in the uh, eating gallery place, the uh, banquet hall for the guests. Um. Hope they can't see me here. Can't jump up on there. Look at him gorging away, guys. Gluttony. Um, kind of cool we're a gnome now. Um, that is not too bad, in my opinion. The room that uh, Six went through on our first part of the game here. Um, they're leading us to this light here, I guess. Oh, okay, this is the... Is this the same person that was sleeping here? Um, interesting. No, this is multiple people sleeping in this room. We have guests who've already eaten their fill, fill here. Let's jump through here. Okay, we're in a room, a butcher's type of room. Is this where the butcher was chopping all that meat? Um, when Six was trying to avoid him, when she's climbing over the rafter there. Interesting. Is there a way out here? Okay. Got bottles in here. Oh, there's another gnome. Let's go say hello. Oh, the music changed. Oh, more gnomes. More gnomes. Okay, I've lost control of my character. More gnomes up there. Okay, more gnomes back here. And I'm just walking around in circles here, guys. No way. No way. We are the one who picks up the sausage, offers it to Six, when she comes in with her hunger pains, she ignores the sausage and eats us. What kind of ending is that? Oh my gosh. Full circle twist there. What the heck? <laughs> nice twist at the end there, guys. Happy music. Death of the runaway boy. You've been playing him for so long. Secrets of the Maw, all three. Um... DLCs have now been completed, guys. I believe I got 100% now on all three of those. The only thing that I'm missing trophy-wise is the original game. Is the speed run with no deaths. Well, I don't think I'm going to ever get that one, but I got pretty high on everything else. I found every single collectible throughout the whole game. I did have to go to the people out there on the interweb <laughs> to... Um, find some of the clues there for these hidden trophies but we did okay overall finding them on our own grandma gun you are missed my patient fiance and family i'm sorry for the late nights 
Interesting, guys. TV coming on here. That must be like the exorcist thing. Oh! That's cool. Maybe that's a throwback to the um, other Japanese horror movies. Interesting. Where they come through the TV and the white noise. Okay, we finished the game, guys. Let's go check out the extras. Um, again, we have the mask we can equip and unequip. We have concept art, which I've been waiting for. It was mostly locked, so I hope that I opened up a lot of concept art here. Oh, when I started... The, okay. Let's see here. I apologize, guys. I, uh... When I started the new chapter, it, it wiped all the original game away, all the of me completing it. So I guess I'll complete that and get this concept art back to you again in the future, or we'll just get the concept art from this point forward. But we'll look at this one here. What we have. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the series. I really enjoyed playing it for you and I so appreciate everybody who watched it. Um, it was a really fun experience and creepy and spooky at the same time. Very good storyline put together with minimal controls, no pretty much tutorials. You just have to every once in a while figure things out on your own. Um, it is a very cool puzzle based game. I thoroughly enjoyed playing it for you, and again, I really appreciate you guys watching it. Make sure you hit that like button. Um, it really helps me out a lot. Um, I will be doing more stuff in the future and other adventures, especially hopefully related to Assassin's Creed Valhalla um, that's coming out here next week for me. Um, I will have to be playing on the PlayStation 4. I don't think we'll be getting it 5 here anytime in the near future. They're sold out everywhere. And since I'm in Europe, it's even harder for me to to get them and the virus stuff going on. So um, hopefully I'll get to one of those, hopefully by the beginning of next year, if things plan out or towards Christmas, we'll see what happens. Um, or may or may not get one at all. Who knows? Um, so take care, guys. Stay safe out there. Um, crazy world we live in. So don't get turned into a gnome and get eaten by six. That's my recommendation to you. So go ahead and check the description down below for other things I'm doing. Hit that notification bell for other things uh, that I do and upload. And we will see you on the next Dark Comet adventure, guys. Take care.